Whoa, what's up, everybody? Yeah, here we go again. Mike Dolce, four-time world MMA trainer of the year. Good to see you. Hopefully, this YouTube stream is working properly. It's been a little bit of an issue all day, as other creators have noted. But don't worry. I am here to drop the knowledge on you. Question of the day, Dolce. Is it better to bulk or shred? Is it better to eat a ton of calories to put on muscle and then diet it all back down again? Well, some of you may know that I once weighed 282 pounds, as you can see by the thumbnail photo, and I dieted all the way down to 170 pounds to compete in professional combat sports. And in the photo that you see, the sexy shredded photo, that's actually on the cover of my number one best-selling book, Three Weeks to Shred It. I'm 196 pounds in that photo. So essentially, I had lost, you know, nine, I lost 112 pounds total, 113, because I actually weighed 169. But then I recomped back up to that 196. Now, as I talk to you right now, I want to tell you by far, by far, the best thing to do is lean bulk. What is a lean bulk? A lean bulk is setting a body fat target that you do not go over. We call it the ceiling. You set a body fat ceiling that you do not go over. I suggest that body fat ceiling to be 12% body fat. Now, 12% body fat, you can still see your abs, but at 12% body fat, you are able to eat at a caloric surplus. You are able to train intensely with multi-joint compound movements. You are able to put on a tremendous amount of quality. Muscle mass, the mass with class, a little throwback to Lee Labrada. But what you can do here, guys and gals, is you want to get heavy. You want to get intense. You want to be crushing weights between that 6 to 12 rep range. This is for all my meatheads out there. We can talk about combat sports, which we always do. But what we want to talk about with you is bulking or shredding. Now, many of you, you do both. And I did this back in my early days, so please listen to your Uncle Mike right now and let me tell you, do not make the mistakes I made. Do not make the mistakes that every bodybuilder out there makes. What do they do? They bulk all the way up 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 pounds above their contest weight, their stage weight, and then they diet all the way back down again to realize they're competing at damn near the same weight they did last show. They put on 50 or 60 pounds of sloppy mess to have nothing left over because they have to go so deep into a caloric deficit that they cannot maintain any of that muscle tissue. Even with the amount, the copious amounts of performance enhancing drugs they are injecting into their body. We don't want to do that. We want to make lean quality gains. Now, this is not as sexy. As many of you out there who are like trying to put on 40, 50, 60 pounds over the, the, the bulking season, which is September through February. That is bulking season, September, October, November, December, January, February, bulking season. And in February, we start dieting back down so we can get that summer tail, if you know what I'm saying. So when we diet back down, most of you went through this last winter and fall and you realize that there is nothing left. All that muscle tissue you tried to build during bulking season is gone. And now you're left over with that flabby skin because you stretched your skin out. It's like when your big brother wears your favorite t-shirt, the fat ass stretches it out. So you put it back on and you look a little dumpy. It's no longer nice and tight suited to your body anymore. That sucks. You do the same thing with your skin. So before I go any further, make sure everybody listening right now, bang, 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 gives this video a thumbs up because I am saving you years and years of wasted progress. I'm going to tell you in a minute exactly how to train and eat to do this. So bulking or shredding, which is better? 
you can actually lean bulk. It's a hybrid method. Lean bulking is the way to go. You want to have your abs year round. You want to have your abs year round. Now, they don't need to be vascular. I don't need to see the intercostal muscles, but I want to see all six abs year round. Guys listening, that puts you no higher than 12% body fat, making it easy for us to diet back down to that 10% where everything shrink wraps. That's a big percentage. That 2% up and down is a lot of extra calories per day. Now, how do we train for this? We train for this training multi-joint compound movements. This works for the steroid user. It works for the naturally trained athlete. We speak mostly to the naturally trained athlete on this channel, but this information is evergreen. It works for anyone. So if, if you're fucking shooting copious amounts of, of, of Trenbolone and Test and Deca and Equipoison, you're, you're, you're swallowing just liver scorching amounts of, of Diana Ball and Anna draw and, and and what else anavar whatever else is out there you shouldn't be doing that but if you are the style of training i'm talking about works perfectly for everyone multi-joint compound movements we are pressing we are pulling we are or we are pushing we are pulling we are squatting we are hinging and we are rotating or resisting rotation through the core that's what we do overhead barbell press standing works great Overhead, underhand, chin-ups works great. Horizontal, rows, bent over rows, Yates rows, Penlay rows works great. Weighted dips work great. Modified incline dumbbell press works great. Heavy weighted push-ups work great. Body weight squats loaded with a goblet, with a kettlebell, with a barbell work great. Great. High box step ups work great. Bulgarian split, split squats work great. Conventional deadlift works great. Sumo deadlift work great. It's not raw Romanian deadlifts works great. All this stuff works great. You want to program this into your overall training system. You want to train your full body three days per week, every other day. Now you can do a push pull. You can go push pull legs. You can go um, upper body push, upper body pull, legs off. That works extremely well if you're really pushing it. If you're training your ass off, upper body push muscles, upper body pull, pull muscles, legs, day off, repeat over and over and over and over, constantly adding weight with better form, right? More weight, more reps, same weight, same reps, less time, same weight, same reps, same time, better form. That is progressive overload. That's how we add and enhance. And remember, we're training six to 12 repetitions. Ideally, ideally, you're training one movement, multi-joint compound movement per, um, I don't want to say muscle group because it's muscle groups, complementary muscle groups, right? So an overhead press is the way to go. A, a you know weighted dip is the way to go once again. A weighted chin up is the way to go. Heavy barbell or dumbbell rows, chest supported kettlebell rows are the way to go. Uh, Romanian deadlifts, conventional deadlifts, unilateral uh, deadlifts work great. Unilateral deficit deadlifts, my athletes perform. You want to, you you want to have cables, steel cables running through your hamstrings into your erectors, past your glutes. That's the way to go. Um, what else? Squatting. You know, some people, you know, barbell back squat, the granddaddy above all exercises, but you can also heavy goblet. You can throw a vest on, throw some chains on, hold a goblet, and you can do some 6, 12, 18-inch single leg step-ups. Um, ben Bruno's out there doing like 315-pound single leg Bulgarian squats for reps, right? You can really look into some of this stuff. Shout out to Ben out there who's getting it done. Um, how do you eat six meals a day? No less than four meals per day. Working your way up. If you're eating four meals a day right now, awesome. Add just a little bit more, 10% to each meal for the next three weeks. See what happens. Then stop there. Add one meal. So now you went from four meals a day at, let's say, four meals at 500 calories a meal. You're taking in 2,000 calories per day. You slowly add 10% across your meals. 
So then it's 200 calories, 2,200 calories, you know, 24 plus, 26 plus over three weeks. Then you add another meal of about four to 500 calories. Now you just jumped up over 3,000 calories. You can run that same cycle again for six weeks and reevaluate. You better have put on lean muscle tissue. We're shooting for one to two pounds of lean muscle tissue every four weeks because remember, this lean muscle tissue is quality muscle tissue that you keep. If you hibernate in bulking season, September, October, November, December, January, February, seven months, if you can add one pound of lean muscle tissue for seven months, you've done better than all your dickhead buddies. You will reemerge this summer like a god. Now, if you can add one and a half to two pounds of lean muscle tissue in that off season, you can add 10, you can add seven to 14 pounds, let's say 12 pounds. If you can have 12 pounds of lean muscle tissue hanging off your body, you will freaking stop traffic when you cross the street. I guarantee that because now it will be much easier to diet down. Your skin wasn't stretched out. It's going to be shrink wrapped. It's going to be so easy to get lean and to get shredded. Guys and gals, bang, bang. Once again, I ask for the thumbs up because the information I'm giving you is priceless. There is no value to this information, ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen, 92% sausage party in this room. And that's okay because I am the ultimate wingman here helping you guys achieve your goals without wasting all that time, all that time, all that time. I'm going to jump in and answer some quick questions here. Let's see what we have. Um, Jesse Lee. What's up, Jesse Lee? Hing says, hello, Mike. Hello, Hing. Gringo Bear. Big boy, Louis Delgado. Coach, I weigh about 160 and I'm 5'7". Currently doing two to three days a week of full body split, multi-joint compound movement. I love it. Currently on Living Lean 1800. Do you think this is enough calories? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, this is lean gains right now. That's what our Living Lean program does. Living Lean. The Living Lean program is exactly what I used to drop from 280 down to like 220 or so, 210. And then I dieted. I did three weeks to shred it to get down to 170. Living Lean to recomp back up. So, Louie, right around that 1800 is good for you in general, not knowing you. 5'7", 160. You are at a, a mild surplus here. How are the gains coming? How are the gains coming is the question. You should be making those lean muscle tissue gains. You should be able to see those abs in the mirror. Louie, it sounds like you're crushing it right now. Keep me posted. Um, what's my height? I am five foot 10. Thank you for asking. Is this Tinder? What's going on here? Jesse Lee says, Oos, coach, I got a one-on-one -on -one consult for my wedding anniversary from my wife. You are a lucky man, my friend. Can't wait to ask you some important fight camp questions. Three weeks to three weeks out of a 145 pound title contender fight. Bam, Jesse Lee, I'm in my brother. I can't wait. I, I can't wait. I haven't seen it pop up in my schedule yet, so I'll take a look and see. Um, also, Nick L, F U Nick L. Jesse Lee says, Thanks for all the shout outs you've given me and my Instagram account, Fit Family. Uh, we post a lot of living recipes and videos and always give credit to the Dolce diet. Um, brother, I appreciate that. Any Anytime. I, I'm happy to promote all of you guys, all of you, my amazing community, my friends here. We are sitting at a big round table right now. Each one of us brings something to this table, right? I just happen to have the microphone right now, which is cool. Anything I can do to promote you, to, 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 to support you, to cheer you on, to challenge you, you know I'm here. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me at the Dolce Diet on Instagram. I host live Q&As nearly every single day. I promote the heck out of you guys. I have an amazing story to show you what I'm doing, how I'm training, where I'm eating, like what I'm doing in my, my off time. I'm never off though. And I promote a heck of a lot of you guys living the same lifestyle. Coach Mike says, what's up, Coach Mike? Good to see you. Uh oh, just soon to buy. Um, hey, coach, we finally started softball over here and everybody on my team has gained weight during the pandemic. I'm the only one who came in lean and mean. Hit a bomb out of the park. My brother, killing it, Mike. So proud of you, my man. Keep it up. Keep it up, Mike. I know you are. Coach Mike, everyone. Dolce Diet Certified Coach. Hing says, question regarding personal training certificate. I would like to build up my own business and help my community and more importantly, lower the rate of obesity. Where should I get my certificate? Hing, I strongly suggest you join our Dolce Diet certification course. You, can, you will become a Dolce Diet certified coach. We're holding one at the end of this month. Shoot me a DM on Instagram. Anyone, excuse me, this will sell out. Our pre-registration list is already growing. Our, excuse me, our pre-regs um, already have first access. 
this is going to sell out probably in one day. The first day we announce will likely sell out because we promote it to our pre-registered list first. If you want to become a Dolce Diet certified coach, if you want to get first notification of the upcoming Dolce Diet certification and fitness conference, please send me a DM on Instagram. I will check it. I will respond to you. I will have the team put you on the list. Hing, that is my strongest recommendation. Angela Lopez, lean gains all the way. Uncle Mike, I find that you can still hit PRs and keep gaining muscle without lowering calories that much. Agreed. Jesse Lee doing the fighter treadmill workout. What should my heart rate look like for beats per minute on sprinting, jog, and walking portions? Man, on those sprinting, I want to see how high we can go. How high can we go? That's my goal. And when I hit sprints, I'm trying to see how high we can go. I touched 190 doing intervals on my pre-court, my elliptical the other day. Right? How high can I go? I'm older than you guys most likely. Can you guys touch 190? You know how hard... How hard you have to push to get your heart rate up to 190. And how about this? At 190, I was still able to talk because I was talking shit on my Instagram story. That's what you get on my IG story. I was talking shit on my Instagram story, holding my phone and sprinting with a heart rate BPM at 190, sustained for over two minutes. Up, well, in the like 180s to 190s, finally peaking at 190. Um Do, 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 do. Toby Toby says lose fat as gaining muscle is possible. Losing fat and gaining muscle, yes. You can increase lean muscle tissue while lowering non-functional body mass fat because lean muscle tissue actually uses stored fat as energy. It increases our base metabolic rate, and there's actually a shift. If I'm 200 pounds at 10% body fat, and I increase my muscle mass uh, by five pounds, I don't lose any body fat. My body fat percentage still dropped. And then the new muscle tissue will require more energy, which will help me burn even more of that stored body fat. A lot of people don't know that because they don't understand. Um, bum, 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 boom, 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 boom. Wow. Um, KS says, can endurance-based athletes still gain decent muscle on a bulk? Absolutely. All athletes should be gaining muscle. That's what we try and do. I got two more minutes and I'm going to log off your guys and gals. 20 minute bang, getting it in, getting it done. Uh, yes, they can, but calories have to be controlled. We control all the variables. Shoot me a DM on Instagram if you have any specific questions I can help. Or go to thedolcediet.com right now. We have a four-week and a 12-week personalized nutrition and exercise program. Right now at thedolcediet.com, our personalized four-week and 12-week online diet and exercise program. Become a member. Join the community. Man, this is it's the number one rated online health and fitness platform in the world. Of course, because we created it. Sonia says, F you, Dolce. Thank you for the, all the amazing info. It is an honor and a pleasure, Sonia. KS, does the caloric surplus need to be relatively higher than most lifters currently strength training four times a week, um, 12 to 15 hours a week of cycling? Well, you'll know by looking in the mirror. I don't know you. I don't know your physiology. I don't know your geography. I don't know your, 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 your lineage, your family history. Like, I don't know your levels of stress at work. Right. There's so many things I don't know. So what we need to do is we need to be accountable. We need to look in the mirror. We need to step on the scale. We need to gauge our performance. We need to uh, evaluate our daily energy levels. That's what we need to do. Take your time. I say make it 10 percent, 10 percent across every meal and see how that goes for for, you know, seven to 10 days. That's how we make these adjustments. It's not arbitrary. Um, bum, 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 bum. JS says, how would you split a mesocycle for fluctuating between train hypertrophy and power strength training? Or would you just recommend a conjugate style system? Um, well, it depends if you're training power and strength is different. Power, strength and hypertrophy are different, are different. What for, to be a well-rounded athlete, though, I'm going to be training more in that four to 12 rep range, more specifically around the six to eights. I like that six to eight range for all athletes with perfect form. And we can play with the, the complexity of the movement that can actually matter. We can start adding some plyometric work. Have you ever done, you know, um, you know, four sets of eight, you know, depth jumps, depth jump reloads. I mean, you know, you know single leg, um, you know, hops, you know, deficit hops, you know, deficit hops to a high box. 
man, there's lots of lots of stuff that we can do here. But that four to eight rep or six to eight rep range, ideally four to 12 is kind of what we're training for. Um, and you can really, you know, you can dial that in. Now, if you're a power athlete, a one to three rep athlete, that's a little bit different. If you're an ultra endurance athlete, you know, with 15 plus, that's a little different. But most athletes should be spending most of their time in that six to eight rep range with perfect form training to technical breakdown. Technical mastery is key. And then you can splinter off for a short three, six week training cycle to peak out. Um, what are your thoughts on people claiming that intermittent fasting boosts growth hormone? It, it may in a Petri dish. It may. But it does. It's not it, as compared to what and for how long and to what extent. Right? I can prove anything in a Petri dish. Look at, go watch Super Size Me, right? Go watch that movie, right? You can prove anything in a short period of time. Uh, when is the next certification? At the end of August, it's going to be a pop-up. It's going to be a flash. We're not going to really promote the heck out of it. I mean, we're, we're 10 days into the month. Maybe I think Wednesday is when we're actually going to let the pre-registration list know. And so if anyone is interested, definitely DM me right now. DM me right now if you want to know about the next certification event, which will be at the end of August. It will be a small window. Small group is the way we run them now. Online, completely remote. Um, Thomas says, how can you combine strength training with MMA training? I'm currently training MMA four days per week, Monday through Friday at six o'clock. Um, I would look for one every five days, one intense um, dedicated strength session every fifth day. If you're training um, four days per week, that means maybe you go two on, one off, two on, two off, right? So I'd probably be hitting my strength work, uh, let's say, on Wednesday and Sunday. Average out uh, would probably work well. Um, Peter says, would you do more online classes? Yes, we do. Jesse Lee, does the DDC make me a certified personal trainer or just nutritionist or both? I want the title of DDC, PT, and nutritionist. Thanks again. Well, part one, part two. Part one, our level one is a nutrition coach. In our system, you cannot move on for the level two, the fitness trainer, until you have a mastery of nutrition. Most of the other systems, it's different. Our system, you have to have that nutrition foundation in order to move up to the fitness trainer. And level three is our master trainer. Everyone has to go through the level one nutrition coach certification first. That's what we are holding at the end of the month. Um, and Jesse, it'd be awesome to have you there, brother. Jim says, with your special weight cutting refeed program, how would you suggest to apply for high school wrestling where we have matches twice a week and then tournaments on weekends with up to four matches per day? Jim, that is a great question. I'm actually, that's a much deeper question here. We want to get them on weight early. We're working with high school and college athletes right now. Actually, August is the time to get ready for your wrestling season. August is the time to get ready for wrestling season to kick off in November. August is the time to get your weight in check. August is the time to get ready and mentally prepare, right? That's the way we have to mentally think about this. We want to get their weights on point. So when they get into September and then October, come November, they're match ready. They are ready. Then we are actually able to feed them properly to fuel them during the season. We don't have to cut them down, bring them down, drag them down. We don't have to wear them out throughout the season because we're trying to peak for the tournament at the end. In, in, you know, February, March, late January, February, March, depending on the, the part of the world that you're in. Um, so, Jim, yeah, and I, I'm probably, I'll do a bigger video on that, Jim, uh, coming soon. But I hopefully that makes sense for you. Wrestling season starts now. Mentally, it starts now. If you want to if you want to stand on the podium in, in late winter, you have to get ready in late summer. Uh, KS, can endurance uh, based athletes still gain muscle on a bulk? Yes. Uh, I actually answered that, I believe. Um One nine these Jesse Lee debit card was stolen. Waiting for a new one. Unless I throw some money in the super chat, I'll get you, Jesse. No worries, my friend. I appreciate that. Um, Nick L, where are the thumbs up? Bang, 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 bang. I appreciate that. Er, getting there, getting it going. Um, Thomas says, "Thank you for the answer. You are the most honest coach out there. The most honest fitness." expert on YouTube, the most honest fitness expert on Instagram, the most honest fitness expert in the world, in the world. Yep. I gave myself that title, but it's true though. Right. So somebody has got to say, um, BK trainer, your thoughts on biking as an option to build size in your lower body along with strength training. 
I, we work with some cyclists, Shane Perkins. Shane Perkins won the bronze medal for Australia in the 2012 Olympic Games. If you look at Shane Perkins' legs, you will swear he is a power lifter or a bodybuilder. Some of the biggest thighs you've ever seen, thighs and calves, insane. All the cyclists we've ever worked with have incredible thighs, legs, calves. Incredible, incredible. So, yes. Um, Jim says, yes, sir. Appreciate you more than you know. Reach out for a consultation to schedule in the next two weeks. Jim, that would be awesome. Anybody, guys and gals, anybody right now, if you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, I'm happy to do these. I'm still doing these one-on-one -on -one consultations. Go to DolceDietShop.com. You can still take part in my massive discount. It, I'm charging 30% of my normal rates right now due to the coronavirus, the epidemic, and, and people being without jobs. I wanted to make myself as as available as possible. We also drop the rates of our dietitians. Um, so if you want to speak with me, one-on-one -on -one consultation, it's really just like this, but instead of answering all these questions, I'm only answering yours, uh, which is awesome. You fill out a little evaluation form so I know what's going on going into it. Phenomenal. Um, DolceDietShop.com, if anybody wants to get in there, um, I'm happy because I, I speak with, and I have it scheduled, I speak with four people per day, every single day, Monday through Friday. That's 20 people a week. That is over a 1,000 humans per year I conduct personal consultations with. That's pretty freaking awesome. Who else does that? And this is for a fraction of the cost, really. It, it, it's it's way more than affordable, I'm, I'm hoping. And, and some of you have already done it uh, with me. Some of you have them scheduled right now. And I love it. I freaking, I love one-on-ones with you guys. I just, we get down dirty. We get, get down there. Um, Parsa says, do you prefer body weight or weightlifting for wrestling MMA? Both. There has to be a blend of both. I love, I love both. I just love working until I puke. I enjoy it. I don't, I, I enjoy grinding myself. It's more mental for me, but I enjoy pushing my body past preconceived limits. I enjoy mentally quitting a thousand times without ever stopping the motion, right? That's, that's what I personally enjoy, but that's also what makes us better. With perfect form, of course. Um, uh, of course, I've blown the time. So here we go. I'm almost done here because I'm, I'm over. I said, I'm only going to do 20 minutes. And here I'm at 27 minutes. Abel says, thank you for all the great work. I appreciate you, Abel. Uh, BK Trainer, definitely doing the one-on-one. -on -one. Do the one-on-one, -on -one, guys and gals. I, if you want to, I am so in. I love it. I freaking love it. I love working with you. I love the one-on-ones. Um, doing now for my son. And then we'll book for myself as well. Jim, I love it. Those one-on-one -on -one consults. Do not miss. All right, guys and gals, I'm going to log off. Remember, if you want to join the next Dolce Diet certification at the end of August, you'll hear about it soon. If you haven't announced it yet, get on the pre-registration list. You will have first access. Every single one we've done has sold out. They sell out super fast. This one will probably sell out in a day, let's say in the first week, because we have a really big pre-reg list right now. Um so shoot me a DM on Instagram. I answer all questions and, and comments that come through on, on Instagram. Just don't don't send me dick pics. I'm a little over that. It's weird, but hey, whatever, whatever. Um, just don't send me some weird stuff. When I say dick pics, I mean like literally. Uh, but also weird. I get weird stuff uh, that comes through. Just be cool. Be nice. Be professional. Um, you know, don't don't make me flag you on Instagram. Just be cool. I don't care what you do in your real world. Um, Ask me a cool question. I'll give you a cool answer. Get a little creepy with me. Then I won't answer at all. And I'll block you. Uh, I might even report you if it gets over the line. Um, Sean, which food source has a longer insulin release? Whole pastas, oats, etc., or beef? But what do you mean has a longer insulin release? Um, so that, that's actually a context question. I'd say go back and, and watch my oats video, oats or, oats, oats or steak. I think I put that out on Friday, Thursday or Friday. Go check that out right now. That might help you a lot. Um, Shimmer laugh. I know, right? Craziness, man. Um, John Spence, Effie Dolce started living two months ago and lost 24 pounds and wife lost 10 pounds. Started three weeks to shredded. Oops. Started three weeks to shredded today. Let me bang, 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 bang. Oh man. Um, hold on, hold on. So wife lost 10 pounds, started three weeks to shredded today. What cardio do you suggest? 
And can I take creatine? Um, cardio, I love walking. Low intensity, steady state walking is great. Low intensity cycling is great. High intensity sprints work well if your body works well. I do most of my interval work, most of my sprint work on an elliptical machine. It saves my knees. It saves my back. I'm at the stage of life and career that I don't need, need to need that force compression um, traveling through my body with those heavy footfalls anymore. Um, I would suggest that. Oh, oh, um, is it a a Annika? I'll say Annika. Why are people saying F you? Isn't that bleep you? I don't get this. So F you is for the OGs of this community. What F you stands for? It stands for effing unbelievable content, Dolce. So they'll say F you, Dolce. It means effing unbelievable content, uh, which is a little insider joke. And that helps the algorithm. So once this video posts, if you guys go through and if you just type in an F U or F space, U space, Dolce, that helps the algorithm because it shows YouTube you guys are engaged with us. Feel free to ask me a question. Feel free to leave any comments. Feel free to just simply say F U Dolce, uh, which lets me know even more important than the algorithm. It lets me know that you're out there, you're having fun, and uh, we're, we're not taking ourselves too seriously here, um, but we're, we're engaged and we're communicating. When I see that, it's funny because... Everyone who leaves that F you Dolce or leaves a little comment, I remember you, right? Because I want, like I said, this is a big round table. This is me and you just hanging out. I want to hang out. I want to get to know you. I want to see you show up every day. I don't just turn on this microphone so I can talk blankly at a screen. I want to know everybody out there. I want to know what you're doing. I, like, I want to hear about uh, Jim and his son who's getting ready for wrestling season. I want to know what John Spence and his wife are doing inside their training. I want to know what, what Angel is, is doing and Coach Mike is doing. I want to know what Abel's doing. I know. I know these guys. I know these gals because they're in here all the time. And we're talking. We're conversing. And we're building them. We're offering feedback. I know where they were. I know what they were talking about one, two, three, four weeks ago. I know their progress since then. I know how they're eating. I know how we've updated their training. This is all free. Guys, I'm doing all this stuff for free for you guys. And I only I, I say that because I just want you to take advantage of it. I don't know anyone else who's out there doing this stuff for free as much as I do with the honesty that I have to share it with you and to help you. Right. That's what this is about. I want you to live your best freaking life and anything I can do to share this information with you, to communicate it to you, to, to get it to you, to get you starting to think about what actually works. So now you can make better informed decisions for yourself. That's what I'm trying to do here. I just want to help. And the more I can see your names, the more I get to know you, the better I can help you. Right. So that's that's really what all this is. That's what I'm trying to do. All right, guys and gals, it is time for me to go. I really appreciate you all for being here. Thank you so much for taking the time. Remember, shoot me a DM on Instagram. If you want to get on the pre-registration list, we're going to release on Friday the updated uh, certification course, which is going to be awesome. Um, you can go to the Dolce Diet dot com if you want to start our four or 12 week personalized diet and exercise program. Join our community. It is an amazing online platform. Everything you need, every workout, every meal, every recipe, every set, video tutorials, leaderboards, predictive avatars. There's so much at thedolcediet.com for you guys. And then the one-on-ones. The one-on-ones with me is at dolcedietshop.com. It's 30% of the regular price. I think less than. I think less than that. It's less than that. I mean, now is the, if you're going to do it, if you want it, now is the time. Buy it now and we can set it up. I give you access to my calendar. You can pick any date in the future, whatever you want it tomorrow. If I have availability, I usually book up pretty well, but just let me know. I'm here. Guys and gals, I appreciate you. And until next time, whoa.